hello guys welcome to my channel on today's video i'll be showing you how i make this yummy chicken stir fry it's really healthy and it's inspired by panda express compound chicken um not exactly but just inspired in my i put my own twist to it so if you want to see how i made it stay tuned i'm going to start off by prepping my vegetables i'll be using some orange yellow and red sweet peppers i'm also going to be using some green bell pepper garlic onion ginger and some zucchini i'll show you the rest of the ingredients that i'll be using as i go along in the video i partially peeled the skin of the zucchini i said partially you can see what i'm talking about right you still want to leave some of the green parts there but not completely um, and i slice down the middle and then i chop it up into semicircles where it's like bite size but at the same time not too big and not too small you see what i'm saying with the skin you can decide to leave it if you'd like but i just prefer mine like this the next thing i did was the onions and i used one as i said earlier and what you want to do is cut the onions into real big pieces and this is how i achieved it Just one cut down the middle and it should be good. Just take a look at your pieces and see if there's any um, bunch that's too big. And then you can just adjust it to how you'd prefer. And yeah, that's it. Your onions don't need to be so small. Remember guys, white onions are sweet. So you might want to use this instead of the purple ones or the red ones. Yeah, that's enough for me. So I'll put that away. And then again, I went and I already cleaned the peppers out, took the seeds out from them. And for the peppers, you just want to cut them as big as you desire. Bite-sized pieces again, something similar to the size of the onions. And that's what I did with the peppers. A lot of people take sweet peppers for granted, but not only are they beautiful and colorful and add, you know, that vibe to your food, they are packed with a lot of vitamins and antioxidants. They even have vitamin E that's good for your skin and your hair. Sweet peppers also have certain enzymes that help protect your eyes from cataracts and generally promote better sight. For today's stir fry, I'll be using three chicken breasts and before I chop them up into bite-sized pieces, I'm going to go ahead and pound the chicken. And I learned this trick while I was in college and I worked in the cafeteria the chef taught us how to pound the chicken so whenever we had chicken on the menu we usually would have a very large amount of chicken to pound and yeah we would use a hammer but i didn't have a hammer so i just took whatever you know i thought would give me the same pounding effect and yeah it did and the chef told me because you know me now i must ask question I asked him why we had to pound the chicken breast and he said it just makes them cook better and it helps them to absorb whatever spices you're putting in them or ingredients you're going to use to make them. So that's why I, you know, I took that from my experience and I decided to pound my chicken. So I'm done pounding my chicken breast now and I'm going to go ahead and cut them into bite-sized pieces. So I'm done chopping my chicken, I transferred to a bowl and I'm seasoning it with some thyme, some curry and some grounded pepper from northern Nigeria. This is Yaji guys. It's not just pepper, it has some spices in it as well. I'm going to put a splash of Worcestershire sauce and also a little drizzle of some low sodium soy sauce. And I'll use my hands to get in there and coat every piece of that chicken in the seasoning. And then I'll set it aside while I continue with my stir fry. Now it's time for me to make the sauce that I want for the stir fry. And I'm going to be using um, some low sodium soy sauce. I just put a couple of spoons in there. And I'm going to put two spoons of this Worcestershire sauce. And I'm also going to take this paste. It's like a paste I bought from the store. It's just called stir fry sauce. And I'm going to, can you see, is the consistency is thicker than the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce. So I just put some of that 
and I'm going to mix it real good. With a dry spoon, I went ahead and added some cornstarch into this sauce mix. And the reason I'm adding the cornstarch is to thicken the sauce a little bit so that when I put it in my stir fry, I don't have like runny liquid, water, juice, soup. I don't know what you would call it. In a stir fry, so that's what the cornstarch does. If you've ever tried the compound chicken from Panda Express, you know that they put whole roasted peanuts. But I don't have that available, so I decided to add peanut butter. Yes, I added peanut butter to my stir fry, and it is delicious. I added crunchy, chunky peanut butter to this mix. Give that a good mix until it's well combined. Next, I want to cook the chicken first, and I'm going to go ahead and set my wok on the stove, and it's right now currently on medium to high heat. I'm going to add some oil in there, and the reason why I like to use a wok is because of the distribution of heat. It's very good for a stir fry. It'll get the job done, and you won't be worried that, you know, one side is, you know, getting heated faster than another side. It distributes the heat evenly and is really nice for stir fry. Once the pan is heated, I would go ahead and add the chicken that's been sitting for at least 30 minutes. I didn't really check the time. And I'm just going to set the chicken in the wok and wait for it to cook. And I'm gonna turn it over on the other side, wait for it to cook and take it out. I think it should spend about um, three to five minutes on each side to make sure your chicken is well done. Once your chicken is done you can take it out of your wok and we're gonna begin our stir fry don't worry about all that juice just take everything out we'll deal with it soon this is the same pan no need to wash it just add a little bit of oil and we're going to start with the stir fry so I allowed the pan to be really hot and then I added my ginger and garlic that I chopped very finely I also added some red dry chili peppers. I left it on for too long and my garlic and ginger burnt. So what I did was I ended up scooping a little bit of it out. And this was bad but it was something good in this guys because he added a smoky flavor to the stir fry. I am just going to go ahead and add the onions. So this is just the onions that went in first. and. You just don't want to overcook your vegetables. You want to make sure that they're still nice and crunchy when you're done with your stir fry. So after the onions, I'm going to go ahead and put the zucchini. I put in the zucchini and then I put in the peppers. And I'm just going to stir fry. Isn't this beautiful? I think it's so beautiful and colorful. And I told you this is packed with vitamins. Don't go overcook it all before you now kill all the vitamins. You want them nice and crunchy and juicy and yummy. <laughs> just stir fry until they're just a little bit cooked. I'm adding the juice from the chicken to help me you know, cook the vegetables just a little bit more. It's not a lot of juice, but remember that's why we put the cornstarch in that mixture that we did earlier because the cornstarch would thicken it up Stir fry the vegetables for about a minute and then you can add the chicken. Stir the chicken with the vegetables until it's well combined for about a minute as well and then you add our sauce that we made earlier. Once you add the sauce, don't forget to stir, mix well properly with the chicken and the vegetables until it's well combined. and. Just let it simmer for a few minutes, maybe a minute or two, and your stir fry is ready. Stir fry was so yummy, I didn't even get a chance to take after pictures, you know, where I put it in a plate and take nice pictures. No time. You can eat this stir fry by itself, or you can eat it, you know, over some white rice or some quinoa. Just however you like it, just enjoy the stir fry. I hope you try it. See the peanuts in it, the peanut butter that I put in it. It makes a big difference guys it's really yummy it's really nice and that's the end of this um, video if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the thumbs up button just like this video let me know if you enjoyed watching it also 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you thank you thank you so much for 1k subscribers you guys don't know how much I'm grateful you know I've been at it for a, for a little bit and it's just so rewarding to see that I've gotten to 1k at this time until next time I'll see you guys later bye